We want you to subscribe. If you're one of the proud, you'll go ahead, hit that bell, get alerts when we do with yeah, when we do video reviews. George W over here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now let's get on to the review. How is Thomas with Believe in the Run? This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And Robbie, I'm gonna take you to the danger zone today. I mean, I feel the need, the need for speed. What are we talking about today in a technical manner? Today we are talking about the Brooks launch, hence nine. Do we need a government clearance to give this review? Um, we might need to apply for a top secret. You were actually in the top government. Top secret with polygraph. Weren't you? Maybe. Well, maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. But didn't, did you have to have clearance? Yeah, but not that high. Okay, just <laughs> like, like a key card? Secret. Anyone can get a secret. Basically, as long as you don't do drugs, you can get a secret. Mm. <laughs> All right, Brooks Launch 9. Is this a shoe that's ready for takeoff? I guess that's the question that we have to ask today. You want to take it off? <laughs> Sometimes. Maybe, possibly. We will say, we'll say that for the end. I'll give a little bit of back history with the book's launch. So I think the first launch that I ran in was the launch four. It was the greenish TL1. Yeah. It was the first shoe you reviewed for Believe in the Run. That actually is correct. And I put in close to probably 500 miles on that shoe. I believe you loved it. I did love that shoe. And I ran a marathon in that shoe. Uh, Back in the days when you didn't have super foam high stack shoes, Robbie used to kick it and yeah. those little things. Yeah, I wish I saw had that pair. You know, like you don't know what you did with them. I definitely gave it away. Mm. Like, which I regret now. There's a few shoes I gave away my first pair of Kimbaras, mm. which were the white with the red bottom and the translucent. And I'm like, I have every single model except for that one. So I love that shoe. And then I, uh, the six was pretty good, almost very similar. And then the seven and the eight just tanked. It was like the midsole with the Biomoga, whatever they did to it, just became super hard and dense. It was, it was felt slappy and just not a good Did it change or did shoes get better and you notice the difference? I guess it's, it's hard to say, but all I know is that it didn't like either it no those. longer was and I think of your taste. That was across the board. I think a lot of people really did not like the 7 and the 8. So when the 9 came along and I saw that the changes weren't too much, I didn't have my hopes. High hopes. Yeah. I'll, I'll get into the upper on this. So you have this thing, it's a newish upper. It's, they call it Creole wrap, like C R E E E. Like Creole? Like the food? Yeah. <laughs> like Creole, like C R E E L. Krill. Creole. No, not the thing that whales eat. Oh, okay. Creole. Wait, what is Creole? It's like a fish, like a... Krill? No, 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 not the Krill. There's another Creole. Creole the crowns? Dude, I can't look it up now. <laughs> While he's looking that up, I will just tell you, when these shoes came, I was like, these look really nice. I like this ah, simple, simple look. I was right. It's a wicker basket for carrying fish. Ah. So, Creole wrap, pretty, I mean, breathable, thin, pretty simple. I feel like the launch upper on, like, the earlier versions was like really wrap your foot nicely, very comfortable. And I don't know if it's just to keep that price point low, which the launch is kind of like the Arizona iced tea of shoes, I think with all the- Stays the same price, nine nine yeah. cents a can. Yeah, it's always been $100 for as long as I can remember. Not this year, it's 110. But I feel like they've, like the upper has taken some hits in recent years. Now it's fine, it's nothing, it's just not a ton of comfort there, but it is very breathable. This has been an issue I've had with Brooks recently. Like I used to wear a half size up in Brooks and now I went all, like a whole size down. And now it's still too long at a whole size down? Or sorry, I think this is just my normal size, but it was still too long. Yeah. Right. Now moving on to, I guess we just go to the midsole. Biomogo DNA, I mean, it's been around for a few years now. It's EVA, nothing super special. This version has two millimeters more of it, Ooh. which, what would you say that, what do you think the stack height is on this? This, I'd say 19. This is shocking to me, and I don't know if it's because of the- Am I off by a lot? Oh, yeah. Okay. They say it's 36 in the heel. That's not possible, right? No. <laughs> I, okay, I should say they say is running warehouse because the Brooks spec sheet did not have the actual heel. Calibrate. I can't measure, this is on the outside, and usually there's a little bit of dip down in that, and I would say this is at most maybe 26, maybe they're off by 10. So it said 36 in the heel, 26 in the forefoot, it's a 10 millimeter drop, which seems ridiculous to no. me. There's no way, right? No, this being 26 seems ridiculous. 
I do like the extra two millimeters and I feel like I could tell a difference. Before, like last year's version, and it just felt super firm, just flat, flat. This felt a little bit better. Did I love it? Look, I get like what the shoe's supposed to be. It is a firmer, faster shoe. And I would call it now a budget shoe. Yeah, I mean, in the overall scheme of things, 110 bucks is a budget shoe at this point. I will say the one part I did like about the shoe was when you do pick up the pace, which you know, as you, you want to run fast in the shoe. As one will. It does have a, it, as, as we shall, it does have a nice snap to the toe off. Like it is a good responsive, just like quick turnover. Feels good in that way. Beyond that, I, there's really nothing, nothing special really to me about the Biomogo. Cause I mean, there's plenty of rubber on here. It's obviously gonna be durable it, it, when you when you cut out all these uh, pieces, right? And then it's got a basic thing. Is it, this shoe isn't a great shoe because Robbie doesn't love it. And maybe this is great for somebody else who has these tastes, or do you feel like this shoe lacks compared to other shoes that are well, available with this kind of That's platform? That's what I'm saying is that I don't think it's a, bad shoe like it's passable like if you like a firmer and faster feeling shoe you'll be fine with it whatever i think the rubber will last a long time but they've had this green rubber now for the outsole and it's not good uh <laughs> not good how traction wise yeah the traction is terrible on it uh i wore it like it. just not good <laughs> yeah i wore it i wore it like right after it rained and you can't corner it. It was slipping, it was like sliding all over the place. For my size, men's seven and a half, 7.3 ounces, 270 grams, which sounds crazy, it's very light. Uh, but then your standard like nine will be around 8.3 ounces, so. That's not exactly fast a shoe fast. Like I mean, if I'm giving up the, you know, comfort of the cushion and going with these shoes with the lower stack, I want to at least have the light weight. I mean, it's fairly lightweight. It's not raced it like super foam lightweight, but then you're not paying $180 for this shit. It's not, yeah. you're not paying the endorphin speed prices. I guess that's fair. Like yeah. in my size, it would probably be in the nines. I don't, I don't know that it's anything particularly about the shoe that's a deal breaker that if you buy this, you're going to be like, this is a horrible shoe. I've, I can't run in it. Uh, I just think it's pretty basic. That's it. All right. I think, I think a yellow is deser more deserving. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's borderline. It's, it's orange. Is there an orange? Yeah, there is. <laughs> we just introduced a new category to the lights. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's. I just want to pick it, but I don't think it's necessarily like a bad shoe. Do you know what I mean? I get it, and I, I feel like this is a tough spot for us as reviewers. We get into certain shoes that, like, we get to try everything. So we start to get like a palette for what we like, and it's not always what everybody likes. Some people like firmer shoes. Some people like you know, this is gonna be perfect for the person that wants that they like Brooks fit, they like yeah. that feel. So I get what you're saying. I do wanna say one more thing because I feel like a lot of people get like super offended when we give honest reviews and then also people get mad when we give like, we, we always give honest reviews. I'm saying what, when people, when we I give think bad that there reviews. Is, when, we, when, we, when the reviews aren't screaming positive, yeah, the people that love this shoe get upset. Right, but I'm like, there's like, do you want us to be honest? Or do you want us to just say everything? She was awesome. Uh, so, <laughs> so I might tell you where to go to hear that though. Exactly. I think my thing with this shoe is that I just think books can do better with their resources. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so that's, that's my take. Comment below if you disagree. It's what it is. What do you call that? Inverted roll the, at the, 50 degrees. The whoopsie, with the whoopsie do. Yeah. <laughs> Flying over top, gave him the bird. Excuse me, what's the bird? You know, the bird. There you go. All right, so once again, we'd love you to subscribe to the channel. This isn't the best example of our work. You can go and see more if you want. Peruse the library, yeah. check it all out. Make sure that you hit that bell. Robbie, what else? Uh, follow us on Instagram, join our Strava Club. Sign up for Grit, our distance challenge for this summer. Huge event, it's gonna sell out. It's almost, yeah. I don't know. It's already halfway sold out and we're only 24 hours in. Yep. Uh, and, and we're having a party June 11th. Yeah, huge party in Baltimore. If you are anywhere near Baltimore, just come. If you're in New Jersey, you want to drive yeah, down for this. It's gonna be a good time. If you're in Florida, you want to come up for it. Dude, you get cheap Southwest flights. Yeah, BWR. ridiculous. We're gonna have two custom beers, a band, a three mile run, and we close down a street. There's fuzzy burgers. Might break some laws. Probably Might. will. We always do. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. All right. All right, peace. peace.
Do you know though, I'm, I'm actually reading some about Elon Musk right now. Mm -hmm. And when I say reading, I'm listening to an audio book. Um, <laughs> reading. Um, but like all the rockets that blow up before you get the uh, mm -hmm. rocket that goes off. So if four of these or five of these are duds, then it's still successful in the rocket launching. Business. Okay, all right, that's one way to frame it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so I guess you could put that in the shoe industry.